Welcome to Discipleship 24-7. We are doing Advent series. And the whole purpose of Advent, each week we look at a topic or the Advent theme. And uh, the purpose of it is to prepare our hearts, our minds for the Christmas day. Christmas celebration, which is the birth of our Lord and Savior. This week we're looking at the topic of peace. How would you define peace? I want to say that maybe all of us can relate to this, that we um, long for peace. We have a desire for peace. And peace is calmness, a calming uh, environment. And so peace is something that I think we all are looking for. And when you think about peace and how it could relate to uh, different aspects, we will take a look at an exercise you can do later this week or throughout this week during the Advent week is thinking not only about how would you define peace, but how, how can you look at things differently and we'll look at that uh, in a minute. I um, want to share some things with us um, that relate to peace. And um, we have some we have some scripture. One scripture uh, that is not highlighted on our post is from Romans 5, uh, verses 1 through 2. And it says that, Therefore, since we've been made right in God's sight by faith, we have peace with God because of what Jesus Christ, our Lord, has done for us. And we confidently and joyfully look forward to sharing God's glory. Encouraging, encouraging verse. And here's one from Isaiah 9, 6 that kind of sums up the whole Advent series or the whole, the whole message of Christmas. It says, For a child is born to us, a son is given, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. That's where the peace is coming from in this scripture. And... Dallas Willard from Willard Words shares with us this quote saying that peace is the rest of will that results from assurance how things will turn out. Gets you thinking on that scripture, I mean on that on that thought, right? And speaking of peace, all of us have a desire to have things turn out, right? How we th things will turn out from today, tomorrow, next week, next month. And there is an exercise that we could work on this week during the Advent series. Let me pull up my notes. And the purpose of the exercise is to reflect and focus on peace. Um, and right now, all of us can think of maybe a definition in our own words, or if you, you know, you could look up the word peace in a dictionary, or you can look up peace in a Bible dictionary and, and really compare the two to get an idea of what peace should, should be. And so when you look up, when you work on this exercise, it, the exercise is not to like put you down or anything. It's not to get you to get you, you know, just in a negative situation about your current life or your current situation right now. It's not designed to do that. It's designed to get you thinking about peace and if you grab a piece of paper, you could write down, write down the word peace on top. And then if you have a definition in your own words or if you're, your own thoughts of what a definition of peace, go ahead and put that underneath the word peace. And then give yourself some space between those two items. And now it's like, how can we apply peace? How can we apply peace with what we have going on? And kind of bear with me. 
because peace can be used in multiple multiple ways. Um, for example, you might want to say, I want to be a peacemaker in my relationships. Okay, that's a good statement to put down. Um, or maybe you want to be someone who prioritizes people more than things, more than projects. That's a good item. The This is going to help you focus on peace. Because going back to the relationship part, the question we have is, um, how is the relationship with your family, with your friends, with your neighbors, with God? How is peace in those relationships? How is peace doing in those relationships? And so this exercise is for us to really focus on peace. How do we zero in on that definition you wrote down in your paper of peace? And so the uh, the exercise really kind of points down to this scripture. I'm going to read uh, half of this verse here. You can look up the um, the other portions of the verses in the chapter. Um, and that would be... Uh, 2 Peter chapter 3, verses 8 through 15, but I'm just going to focus in on 14 for a minute, a part of 14, uh, because it reflects this exercise that you're working on for peace. And that is, make every effort to be found living peaceful lives so that are pure and blameless in His sight. I just want to go back in just a few words there, every effort to be found living peaceful lives. So it's kind of a personal question that I asked earlier. How are you doing with your peaceful lives and your relationships of God, of friends, family, neighbors? How are you doing in those relationships as the example I gave for the exercise of I want to be a peacemaker in my relationships? How are we doing in that? Something to work on this week. And again, the exercise is not to put us down, not to make us feel feel bad or make us feel like we're a horrible person. It's designed to help us focus in on peace. All of us have a desire to have peace in our life or see peace, have peace, want peace. And so this exercise starts us to zero in on that. What is the definition of peace? And encourage you to take a look at the scripture references I have in there as well. There's other scripture references about peace. And may you focus your hearts and minds during this Advent series, during this Advent week of peace, and that you be encouraged by what you read and the exercise as you focus in on peace. This is Discipleship 24-7 Christmas Advent Series. Thank you for watching. I'm your host, Mr. Blake. Have a blessed day and blessed week. And let's take a look at the relationships we have in our life and see peace.